tell me how your uh, your your weighted ball came about, and then also the heavy ball, and then uh, just let people know. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, right yeah, 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 right yeah, yeah. That's big it's time. Hey man, that's, I'm gonna go in the background and do some drills real fast. All that's right? big time. That is man, big time. This is this has been uh, like some stories, man. Back in the day, they didn't have these. Okay, we used to dribble the eight pound med balls. Mm -hmm. The eight pound med balls, right? They were so hard to bounce. They would cut up your hands. But after you got done with that ball, and you got a real ball in your hands. Like the confidence that I would get as a kid doing that, instant gratification as far as like the feel. Mm -hmm. You know, so we are in an instant gratification era right now where kids post, they want their likes, they want their comments, they, they want their shares right now. Mm -hmm. This will give you instant gratification with your ball handling. And so I've spent like probably 20 years, man, experimenting though with ball handling drills, with med balls, yellow balls, spalding balls, skills balls. And so now I've had my chance to be able to create the ball that I want to be able to pass down to the next gen of kids. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that we have a pretty damn good ball as far as, like, feel, as far as bounce, as far as control. Man, I'm so happy and, like, pumped up, though, to have this, that this is mine, you know what I mean? And that I can pass it along because this has helped me and so many players, though, for a long, long time. And every player that I've worked with, for the most part, believes in it just like me. And, and so, man, I'm, I'm just – I'm honored to be able to have it and be able to partner, though, with Sterling to be able to offer a tool that will help kids. How, how, how many minutes a day do you suggest once people purchase the ball um, that they utilize it? You know, and that just kind of comes down to personal preference. I mean, like, I remember, and I'll get back to that as far as, like, what I think. But, like, growing up, uh, I would always get down to the YMCA, like, around, like, 4 o'clock. We couldn't get on the court till 5. There was, like, yoga and stuff on the court. So it was just, like, most of the kids would just sit on the side of the wall and wait. I would go on the racquetball court. Mm -hmm. And I would take that med ball and I would work on my ball handling for an hour. I would pass this ball off the wall with my right hand, with my left hand, chest passes, overhead passes, ball fakes, post entries. I would work on ball handling. Then I would switch balls. I would do attack moves, right attack. Mm -hmm. And I would spend an hour. Then I would go on the court. I had a light sweat. I've been working on my handle. And then it was time, you know, you know, it was time to hoop. And so I spent an hour, you know, probably three, four times a week mixing back and forth between this ball and my light ball. I would suggest, I mean, if, if you're spending zero time, five minutes is more than you're doing. If you're spending 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know what I mean? So you want to just do a little bit more than what you're used to doing. Mm -hmm. But if you've never used this ball, I would say like 10 minutes a day. You know, nothing like, to, and I always talk about 15 minutes a day keeps the turnovers away. Yeah, I would, I would, I would agree with that. Let's just hope that they can decision make while they're on the court or else they're still going to turn it over. 100%. And that's the thing. That's, there's another phase. And, and I always talk about with ball handling, okay? One, you help build a relationship with, with yourself and the ball, okay, with, which is very important. Uh, you're giving them that death stare, that death stare. So you, you, you help build a relationship, though, with the ball. I mean, that's like the main thing, okay? Two, you can enhance your strength and quickness. So it's like the equivalent of going to lift weights. I mean, you're never going to lift weights so in a game, but, but with, with, with the strength that you get, you're going to be able to use that strength to defend and get to the basket. So with the quickness and the strength that we can enhance, we're enhancing things. Now we've got to learn how to make the right reads. The IQ has got to pick up. But this is just used to enhance. Where can they get it? Uh, we're going to go live on Friday morning at 7 a.m. So if you go to my Instagram page, you're on my Facebook. We are going live Friday morning at 7 a.m. That's when it'll be live. So we will have a link right now. There's not a link yet. Get in line Friday morning. It'll be ready to go.